Rao Bahadur Kandakori Virisalingam Pantulu Telugu, Kandakori Virisalingam Pantulu the 16th of April 1848 to the 27th of May 1919 was a social reformer, writer of Andhra Pradesh. He is considered as the father of Renaissance movement in Telugu. He was one of the early social reformers who encouraged women education, remarriage of widows which was not supported by the society during his time and fought against dowry system. He also started a school in Daulaswaram in 1874. He constructed a temple as Brahmo Mandir in 1887 and the Hithakarini School in 1908 in Andhra Pradesh. His novel Rajasakara Charitramu is considered to be the first novel in Telugu literature, he often considered as Raja Ram Mohan Roy of Andhra. He was also known by the title Gadya Tikana means Tikana of Prose. Early life Virisalingam was born in an orthodox Brahmin family in Rajamundri, Andhra Pradesh to Subarayadu, and Pornama. When he was six months old, he suffered from smallpox, a dangerous disease during that time. But somehow he survived. He lost his father when he was four years old. He was adopted by his paternal uncle Venkataratnam. After studying in an Indian street school, he was later sent to English medium school where his talents were recognized. His good nature and studiousness earned him the best student award in his school. He completed his matriculation in 1869 and got his first job as a teacher in Korangi village. Topic literature Virisalingam was a scholar in Sanskrit, Hindi and Telugu. Considering literature as a weapon to fight against social evils, his writings also reflected the same. He wrote plays criticizing the attitude of Brahmin priests such as Prahlada 1885, Satya Harishandra 1886. He published a novel Rajashakara Karita in 1880, originally serialized in Vivaka Chandrika from 1878. Generally recognized as the first Telugu novel, it is inspired by The Vicar of Wakefield, a novel by the Irish writer Oliver Goldsmith. His works include, first novel in Telugu Rajasakara Charitra Vivaka Vardini A Journal for Women Education in 1887. Satihita Bodhini A Monthly Magazine for Women. First drama in Telugu and first book in Telugu on sciences and history. Topic Brahmo Samaj Virisalingam was inspired by the principles of Brahmo Samaj leaders like Raja Ramohan Roy, Pandit Ishwar Chandra Vidyasagar, and Maharshi Kashab Chandra Sen. He started his own Brahmo Mandir in Rajamundri near Bridge in 1887. <laughs> Social reformer Topic. Welfare of women One of the greatest reforms of Virisalingam was to promote women's education, which was considered to be a taboo in those days. In 1876, he started a journal called Vivaka Vardini and published articles about women's issues of that era. The magazine was initially printed at Chennai then Madras, but with his writings gaining popularity, he established his own press at Rajmundri. Remarriage of widows was not appreciated in the society during those days, and he opposed this by arguing that widows were not prohibited from remarrying by quoting verses from the Hindu Dharma Sastra to prove his point. His opponents used to organize special meetings and debates to counter his arguments, and even resorted to physical violence against him when they failed to stop him. Undeterred, Virisalingam started a remarriage association and sent his students all over Andhra Pradesh to find young men willing to marry widows. He arranged the first widow remarriage on of December 1881. For his reformist activities, Kandakori gained attention all over the globe. The government, in appreciation of his work, conferred on him the title of Rao Bahadur in 1893. Later he established a widow home. <laughs> Personal life Virisalingam was married to Bapama Rajyalakshmi in 1861. At the time of marriage, he was 13 years old, and his wife was 8. <laughs> Politics Kandakori Virisalingam served as one of the members of the First Indian National Congress meeting in 1885.
Topic: Death. He died on the 27th of May 1919 at the age of 71. His statue has been unveiled on the Beach Road in Vishakhapatnam.